the only woman veteran serving in the New York State Legislature and the new chair of the Subcommittee on Women Veterans, let me welcome all the women veterans who have joined us today in Albany for this special event in the New York State Assembly Chamber. This is the 23rd annual event of honoring women veterans. But 69 years ago today, on June 12, 1948, President Harry Truman signed into law the Women's Armed Services Act of 1948. Women Veterans Appreciation Day here at the Capitol and any event that recognizes the service of women veterans is important because it normalizes the experience that women in the military have had and it helps the community around us understand that women served as well and it makes sure that they receive the benefits and the, the other resources that they're entitled to. We served, we were parents, we were um, combats and arms with one another. We understand each other. This day is really important. Not only do we break bread together, but we share stories. We share good times, bad times. Women are the backbone of the military. I have a sister who was in the Air Force for 18 years now, and she's stationed away from home, so I, my family and I uh, certainly know what, uh, what your families have been through, uh, through the years. How do you do it? How can you balance all? How, and I just thought, You've got to form those female friendships. They're the most important ones in your life, you know, I think that, uh, you know, because it, lots of times it does take a, a village and, uh, you know, nobody knows our stories like we do. I am an Army veteran myself. I have a daughter that is in the Army. Knowing that she is going to be a veteran one day, I want to do the work that I can do uh, to make that a reality that she is able to navigate these issues and not have maybe the same issues that, that we um, find are, are apparent right now. Uh, my oldest brother is actually in his 30th year of service. Uh, he's a sergeant first class in the Army. Uh, he's currently down in North Carolina. He's done several tours overseas, but I, I continue to tell people we often are not talking about our women vets uh, and what are we doing within our respective military families. So I just want to say thank you. Uh, thank you for not just what you're doing and what you have done, what you continue to do by continuing to bring an awareness. It was wonderful to be with this group of women veterans and to be able to share our stories with each other and reminisce on our times in service. In the state of New York, these women are serving with distinction, are stationed at such places as the Military Academy at West Point, Fort Hamilton, and Fort Drum. These same women have been deployed to such places as Iraq, Afghanistan and Syria and have become the veterans of today and tomorrow. It is important, Mr. Speaker, that we continue to recognize the contributions of New York women veterans so that not only do we remember that women have served and are serving, but they have made a contribution to our way of life. 